I'm Ben. This is Elena, and together with my uncle Chris, we're fixing up a schooner called Mahala. We quit our jobs and step by step, our dream of sailing around the world is coming true. Join us every week for a new adventure and see what Mahalo has in store for you. This week we continued the hunt for water in our pipes. What the f Where's that water coming from? I just don't understand. It's wet, but it's not it's not wet wet. It's just human. The more holes we make, the stronger the boat gets. <laughs> We also decided to drill some holes into the keelson, or wooden beam where the keel attaches to the boat. Not that bad. Think again. Really wet. We continued drilling holes systematically, trying to catch every pipe. Then we ran out of wicks, so we made more, lots of them, since sometimes we need to replace old ones when they've become saturated with resin. While Chris started plugging the latest holes, Elna and I took a break to pick some of the plentiful blackberries at the shipyard. Well, we have lots of blackberries here. Try, Elna. Mmm. Very at, sweet. Oh, look at how few blackberries there are here. Mmm. It's like a sea. Few days, these are all will all be black. Mm. You know, we'll make some jam. What do you think? Some blackberry wharf jam? That would be so good. Action. Oh, this one wasn't good. Maybe they are not safe. Maybe. Maybe like sprayed with something. Or all the coal around here. I don't know. Does coal have an effect on blackberries? Does it make them more black? <laughs> Pretty good though. What do you think? Get back to work? Yeah. That'll make some more holes. So let's see, I'm gonna make some more holes. Chris is gonna filling the holes with our capillary action towels. How's it going? Yeah, it's work. Hard work. Then it was time to wash the boat. We do this about twice a month to wash away the minerals and acids that have built up on the hull. It's important to soak the hull and keep it wet for a few minutes. This gives a chance for all the deposits to dissolve. Then I go back to wash them away. I know it's working when I see suds forming on the surface. Now it's time to deal with another big problem, the rudder. Over time, water seeped between the laminate and the rudder housing, rotting all the wood and destroying the structure around the rudder hydraulics.
We didn't know how extensive the rot was until we started digging in. It was bad. As you can see, there's no structure left in the wood. All this from such a small amount of water over a long period of time. It's just, it literally just softened. Like there's no structure left. Plywood ball. The rotten wood is now removed. Uh, it was a hell of work inside. The rudder housing has to be free because the rudder housing was the main problem where the water was dripping in slightly and made all the rotten wood inside. So uh, we are now in the state that uh, the rudder housing is movable. You see it here. It's against our boat. Yeah. So uh, our work will be just refix that, that it can't be moved or uh, the forces just uh, are not strong enough to, to get it uh, away from the boat again. 15 tons on that small piece of laminate here. So we have to think quite right for the support to get it done once and forever. That's the main task. So we removed the rudder. It was a pity that the screws are too small. They don't fit really. It will always move and then uh, you get no round holes, you get egg holes, which you don't want. Uh, it softens the material and uh, the forces are uh, not kept. Chris finished up the last bit of wood holding the rudder housing in place. Hurrah! That loch is durch. We got a hole! It geht weiter. Once it was out, we got the last remaining bits of rotten plywood off of the laminate. Now we're putting our heads together on how to reseal the rudder housing and create a new structure for the hydraulics. If you have any suggestions, leave a comment down below. And if you enjoyed our video, give it a like and subscribe to our channel to see all of our upcoming videos.